All right, here is this is a 1999 Honda Shadow 600 VTX 600, tastefully put together, very nice colors. It was painted flat black. Um, a lot of people like that or denim black. The exhaust pipes, they were all cleaned up inside and out, polished, so it looks like stainless steel. And the um, exhaust, uh, they were wrapped up on um, exhaust wrap. Okay, they look really nice. The engine was steam clean to make sure that all the grease and everything came out. It did spend a really amount of time, a really good amount of time on putting it, uh, on cleaning it up. Also on the Figley Tribal, if you look at the Tribal Honda logo on the tank, um, this was originally restored from my wife, which she learned to ride on, my, on one of my other bikes. She wrote this one here, but then she now said that she prefers to ride with me. So we are getting rid of it and uh, just selling it to somebody else to enjoy it instead of having it parked. The wheels, they, um, they were stripped down from the uh, crumb and uh, repainted. And we also put the orange uh, pinstriping on it. Fenders, they were all painted flat black. If you can see, it looks very nice and flawless. Same thing with the headlight, even though it's a little dusty. Um, mirrors, we replaced the mirrors, put some nice new mirrors on it. And if you can see, it only has 28,000 miles on it. It was barely ridden, okay? I mean, not barely ridden, but it was actually ridden, taking advantage of, it wasn't parked, collecting dust, having the parts rusted out or anything like that. It does come with a passenger seat, so all, that's why I left the bolts there. You just got to put it on there, and it does come with a uh, passenger seat. The, um, the Actually, the rider seat was, uh, we replaced the material because there were some tears on it, so we just replaced it and put some nice material that has some, a little bit of um, texture on it. Well, it looks like it has texture on it, but it looks really nice. Uh, my wife likes palm trees and uh, hint of orange on the flat black, so I put the palm trees on there. These are only decals, they can be easily removed. I was going to put clear coat on top of it to make it permanent, but uh, I'm glad I didn't because now if uh, whoever is buying the bike don't want it, they can always peel them off. Same thing with the decals here, you can always just peel them off, take them off, or put clear coat on it, flat clear coat, or semi, or, or sem what do you call it, semi satin or satin black. Same thing with the rear wheels. We have brand new brakes up front and in the back. Um, it's all stuck. Okay, there's no added parts except for the mirrors. Okay, turn signals, it's all there. Chain, it's been cleaned and lubed. Chains were in really good condition. There was really no need to replace it, so it was really good. Same thing with, the, with the, everything there. Um, it comes with two sets of keys. And I do have the keys, clean title. So the engine is nice and clean. Nothing wrong with that or anything. Some of the bolts, some of the covers were painted orange. Again, to kind of like even it out. It's got the uh, black levers on it. So it looks nice. All right. The dust turned on, but unfortunately the battery has died because it's been parked for a little bit. Um, I didn't charge it. I didn't plug it in. And um, I can't put a brand new battery on it. Um, whoever's interested. And, uh, or they can, you know, put it on themselves. But here it is. Um, I'm just trying to give it a try and see if it'll turn on. But it won't. But it does. Come on. You can see. Headlight. High beam. Low beam. Turn signals. There you go. You can see it. Turn signals on the other side. Okay. There it is. And let's see if it will start over. Yep. Nope. The battery is dead. Like I said, it needs a new battery. That's about it. I did uh, install the cable here to charge the battery to keep it plugged in. But normally I keep my other bike plugged in on the battery tender. That's my baby right there. Okay, give you guys a look at it. But yeah, uh, and no, that one's not for sale. Uh, that's my baby right there. But this one is, like I said, 1999 Shadow VT 600. Really nice ride. Uh, when before I got that one, and my other bike was down, or was broken, and I had to replace some parts. I took this one for a ride for a few times, so it does ride nice, no issues whatsoever. Great in gas, and uh, it's a great beginner's bike. 
you don't have to start with a 250 and then two, down, two months down the road, I had to trade up to the 600. This is very nimble, very easy to learn on bike. And uh, well, whoever gets it is gonna really enjoy it. Well, hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions or anything, or if anybody's interested, I'm over in the Gaithersburg area of by 124 um, in Montgomery County, Maryland. And uh, yeah, contact me in the comments. Have a good one.